it's unbelievable how well it's working. This is this is a blessing for Paul, I'd say. So I don't know, it's better than full tillage. And I and I always hated spring tillage. It was just like it just you'd make one pass and it just you'd have your hard spots and and um it wasn't level like you'd like and I always find it frustrating, like, oh, let's go over it again. Well, that takes a long time. You pull into a quarter, turn around, work it again. Yeah. So there I was, zipping down the road, window open, enjoying this unbelievable weather on my way to Hazel Acres, when I saw my first field work of the spring. My neighbor was having some strip tillage done on his field, and I wanted to learn more. So, I decided to stop in and find out. I ended up talking with Vaughn Borchard, farmer from Fenton, Iowa. Well, it's March 11th, which is a rare day to be doing something like this. Typically, we do it in the fall, but this spring has been ideal to do this, to get a jump on planting. Um, the strip-till machine, I've had it for about 10 years. By Vasky Welding is who put it together. Originally, it was two Henniker bars cultivators and then since then I've put shanks on the back so I got knives okay yeah the the very front one is the trash whipper which moves your trash out of the way and then it's the lead shank which is a ripple coulter we have on here now and then there's two twins and that's a wavy coulter has a different action and then there's a knife we're running five six, five, six inches in the ground, approximately. And that's what stirs your dirt. And then you have a closing system that mounds the dirt so you can plant into that. Some of the benefits of, of um, strip till is soil structure, mainly. Over time, you just develop a firmer ground, but yet it's got more texture. So, and then strips, it prepares you so you get seed to soil contact because that's, that's really, really important, and you can't always no-till and have success. So that, that's the main thing, less trips. And, um, you know, you make a pass in the fall, and typically you can just plant in the spring unless you have to freshen them. The soil temperature should be at least 50 degrees and, and going up, and workable. You don't want it mucky. You want it so it flows. I'll come back and then I'll plant right into these strips. You know, you you use your GPS, but the planter wants to stay in that, stay in that eight-inch area. So, yep. Yeah, this is your seed trench you get to plant plant into. Then it's just a nice wide. There's probably an eight-inch area in there. And of course, your dirt is just don't want no air pockets. It's ideal planting, as long as it don't get too wet. <laughs> that is the name of the game. Yeah, yeah, Paul's done. Nice job. How uh, how long have you been strip tilling or using this type of system? Ten years. Yeah. What sorts of things have you seen over those ten years? Well, just the soil structure is the big thing. I'd say, and um, I don't know, mostly it's soil structure, timeliness. What are some of the things that have kind of amazed you maybe at the benefits of that soil structure? Well, your roots will go down and you know, and you, they form nicely, it's kind of like that. And if you dig roots like I do in the summer, I mean, it's just granulated soil and, and um, there's just more moisture there. Let's see a little bit of strip tillage in action.
Okay, this is a trash whipper. So it pushes your dirt out of the way, or, or your trash. Puts it to the side so you got a black strip. The ripple coulter goes first. And it, um, you know, just fractures the ground. And then, and then the twins go, the wavy twins go next. And they're offset. And then there's a knife farther back there that stirs your ground. And then the closers close it. Another, you know, the benefit to not disturbing all your dirt is to let your biology, mainly mycorrhiza, which is a fungi. Uh, so tell me about your kind of philosophy, I guess, with, uh, with managing the soil, managing the farm. Well, the less you work your dirt, the better chance the biology has of surviving, mainly your mycorrhiza, which is a fungi, which are a lot of filaments that expand out in your soil type, and that'll bring your, yeah, that'll bring your nutrients right to your plants. We're kind of a bacteria dominant soil. We need we need more fungi. Could use the spade. Yeah. So see how it's granulated. It's you know it just crumbles apart. That means you'll get more oxygen into it. It's no no compaction. So it's, um, yep, it's not fine. If you enjoyed learning about strip tillage, please like, share, and subscribe.